Okay, here we go. Uh, it's self-rising flour. Uh, the, re the reason I'm laughing is because I went to make some beer batter to fry some chicken, and uh, I didn't have any beer. Now, there's a can of Diet Orange Soda, the cheap stuff. All right, so you got self-rising flour, orange soda. <laughs> and I got to tell you, this came out so good. It's unbelievable. That's why I made this emergency video. In case you don't want to use beer or buy a six-pack of beer just for one can, get yourself some orange soda. I'm using diet soda, but uh, I'm sure it'll work with regular soda. Okay, so anyway, self-rising flour, orange soda. I'm going to add salt, pepper, and garlic. And that's it. And we're going to start frying this chicken. And man, I, I was actually surprised. Oh, I put in some orange zest also. But I was, I mean, I'm serious. I was surprised. Uh, there goes, ooh, that's probably a teaspoon of salt. Uh, yeah, teaspoon of salt and some black, crushed black pepper coming up here. And um, no Worcester this time. You could put Worcester if you want to give it a little kick, you know, you could do it. I didn't put any in. Um, I tell you what, the kids would love this stuff. Okay, here comes garlic. It looks like about, uh, boy, I don't know, maybe two teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon somewhere in there. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to wash my hands. All right. I, 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 was, I was very surprised at this. I was really surprised. This stuff was gourmet. I made it the other day, actually. I didn't have any beer. And I also made some onion rings the other day along with it. And they tasted good, too. Uh, it, it just it blew my mind. I'm, you know, I'm like, what? Orange soda? Oh, baby. All right, so anyway, um, I'm going to add some orange zest in here coming up. There's some flour to dip the chicken in. Dip the chicken in flour and then into the batter. And away you go. Now, that's the same oil I was using for the last couple times. So I didn't strain it. There comes the orange zest. There you go. That's about half of an orange. Half of the zest. Uh, what happened was I didn't strain the oil. So there's all them little dark particles on the bottom of the fryer. So what you have to do is you have to hold, you have to suspend the chicken before you let it go for a couple, ten seconds. Uh, that, that way it won't pick up any of those dark little particles down there. Um, man, I'll, t I'll tell you what, even my dog likes it. <laughs> now you know it's good if my dog will eat it. <laughs> oh, brother, unreal. <laughs> All right, there you go. See, now I'm, I'm holding the pieces there so they get a little crust on them before I drop them. That way they won't pick up all the stuff that's on the bottom. Uh, I will strain it after tonight. Got to let it cool off before you strain it. Don't try to strain it when it's hot. You're going to get hurt. Um, and, and it also gives it a nice color, too, the orange it doesn't taste orangey, you know. It doesn't have a very strong orange taste at all. I guess the garlic, uh, the garlic kind of kills a lot of the orange taste. All right, there you go. Let them fry. Man, they're really good. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. I suppose you could use 7-Up, too. 7-Up would be a good one. And use lime zest instead of orange. Um, Coke, I don't know, maybe Dr. Pepper or root beer. Hmm, you know, this is giving me ideas now. I'm going to have to try some other stuff. Root beer might be good. Oh, look at that. They're perfect. Unbelievable. And it's very simple. It's nothing but, oh, here, I'm using the basket. 
Now, if you don't suspend them and you just drop them in the basket, they're all going to stick onto the bottom of the basket. The only reason why I'm using the basket is because uh, I don't know why. Because <laughs> I dump them out of the basket anyway. Um, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Damn. It sucks getting old, I'll tell you that. Uh, anyway, yeah, root beer or... You know, root beer might be good with something like ribs. Boneless ribs. Hmm, very interesting. Alright, anyway. I've got some sesame seeds coming in the mail. I'm going to make some uh, shrimp toast. But the seeds aren't here yet. So once I get them, we'll make some shrimp toast. And I'll tell you what, five bucks for a little jar in the store. I got one pound for uh, nine bucks. <laughs> Big difference. There you go. Look at them. Man, they're good as hell. I, I mean, good as heck. Um, look at that. I guarantee the kids would love this stuff. There's no doubt about it. No doubt in my mind. Woo, that's hot. You could probably do hot dogs. Hot dogs, you know, and, and with root beer. I don't know. I'll try different flavors. I'll let you know. Okay, but for right now, I got to go. I got to eat.